Hello, in this video, we will see how to read Excel file in ASP.NET Core MVC web application. This is a sample test file. We will read this file in this application. Let's begin the tutorial. First, open Visual Studios and click the Create New Project button. These are all project templates. You can use this search box to find project template or use these filter controls to filter the template list. Let's search for ASP.NET Core web app and select the template with MVC and C Sharp option. Now press the next button. Now name the project and choose the path where you want to save this project. Once done, press the next button. In this step, we will choose the latest .NET 7 framework and leave the authentication type as none. We will go with HTTP and leave the Docker support unchecked. Now press the create button to create the project. After the project is created, click on the play button to run the project. There is no error in the project. Now let's open home controller and let's add an action. Name the action Excel file reader. This action will simply return a view. Now let's add a menu item named Excel file reader. To do that, open underscore layout file located inside the shared folder. These are the menu items. Let's copy and paste this menu item. Now copy the action name we just created in the controller file. Paste the action name here. So now the click on the menu item will take us to this section. Let's now run the application. Okay, the menu item is created successfully, but this item has no view. To create a view, simply right click on the action and select add view option. Add an empty razor view and name it same as the action method. Let me delete this code. Now create a form with method is equal to post. This form will post a file, so the encoding type will be multi-part form data. Inside this form, we will create a button to browse file. Next, we will have a button to upload and read file. On the button click, the Excel file reader action of home controller will be fired. Let's run and check out the view. Perfect. Let's write the action that will be called after read Excel file button is clicked. This action will be HTTP post.
name of the action will be same and we will use a file variable in the parameter in which file from the form will be passed. First we will write code to upload file. Let's start. So first add a check that if a file is not null and file length is greater than zero, only then upload and read file. Now let's define path on which file will be uploaded. Next we will simply check if the directory does not exist then create the directory. Next combine the upload directory path with the name of file that will be uploaded. Now simply write the stream to the path. Code for file upload is completed. Now open www root directory. File will be uploaded in uploads directory which will be located in the www root directory. Right now this directory does not exist. But we have written the code to create the uploads directory if it does not exist. Let's run the project and test this scenario. Now select this Excel file. Press read Excel file button. This button will only upload file right now. Now let's check if file is uploaded or not. Ok the uploads directory is created and file is also uploaded successfully. To read the excel file we need to install a nuget package. Open nuget package manager. Go to the browse tab and search for excel data reader. Install this package. Let's open the official GitHub link of this project. Here is the basic code to read Excel file. Let's copy and paste it after file upload code. Clear the conflict by adding system.io before file. Now we can choose any one method from the given two methods. Let's do it with method 1 and delete all extra code and comments. Now we will define the read file logic here. Let's define a list of objects that will hold row data. Now we will add each column in this row data. After the loop, we will add this row to the collection of rows. Let's create a list of list here that will store all rows of Excel.
Now add the row data in the Excel data here. Reading Excel file is completed. Now we will pass this Excel data to the view using view bag. Open the view now. Let's create a table here to display data from the Excel file. Next we will check if the view bag is not null and the count is greater than 0 then we will pick the first row that is header and display it. Now in the body, we will use the same condition but here we will display body if count is greater than 1 as first row in the Excel is header. Now loop from row 1 to the last row. Next loop will display the cell values in each row. And we are done now. Let's run the project. Choose the file. Press the read button. Ok, some error occurred. Let's search this error. Ok, we need to add this line before we are reading the excel file. Copy this line. And let's add this line in start of the action. Let's run the project again. Choose file. Press read file button. Here it is. So we have successfully read the content of the excel file and displayed it in table. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video please like and share it with others. Subscribe to my channel for more helpful programming videos and development tips. You can also show your support by buying me a coffee. The link is in description. Thanks again and see you in the next video. Happy coding.